BPH is an acronym for benign prostatic hyperplasia. This is a condition of the prostate that affects many men, up to 50 or 60 percent of men by the age of 50 or 60, and results in difficulty urinating in their later years. The prostate enlarges naturally and medications can be helpful, but in those men where medications are not desired or are not tolerated or because of an expense issue, men look to their urologist to help them with these voiding complaints with a variety of procedures. Surgical procedures are generally not necessary immediately, but for some men they seem to be more anxious to have their problem solved with less expense over time and choose these surgical or procedural options that are done now in the office setting. The gold standard for managing BPH in the past has been transurethral resection of the prostate or TERP. This is done generally in the hospital and results in at least an overnight stay and some uh, expense associated with the hospital. Many procedures now can be done in the office to relieve this prostatic obstruction. These are becoming much more common and result in equally efficacious outcomes without the expense and risks generally associated with hospitalization. These processes include stapling of the prostate, heating the prostate tissue with steam, and more recently using a laser to evaporate and remove this prostatic enlargement in the urethra. Lasers are, be are becoming much more common in medicine and have now become a standard in the armamentarium of most urologists as we manage this problem in the office setting. The green light laser is most commonly used in the outpatient setting to remove this excess tissue around the urethra and in the prostatic area. This tissue is immediately vaporized and involves minimal pain and bleeding for the patient resulting in excellent outcomes, better urination within a shorter period of time compared to the classic procedures of the past. Typically the patient will have a catheter for a few days after the green light laser and then after its removal most patients are back to their root normal routine. The improvement of their urination can be fairly immediate or be a gradual process over the next several weeks.